Hello, friends and family of YouTube. Well, I know it's been a while since I give you some footage from Camp David, but well, here I am back home and uh, I've been home, of course, for about two months now from the Ukraine trip. But uh, man, I appreciate all the positive comments you guys gave me on uh, on the trip. I really enjoyed it and uh, it was great seeing uh, seeing your comments as well. So uh, anyway, what's, uh, what's on this video today? Well, uh, little bit of everything. I kind of threw a little bit of everything together that I've, I've been filming around here around the house and uh, I, I just thought I'd throw it together and show you what's been going on. Me and a buddy of mine went to uh, Nashville to see Vanderbilt play uh, basketball the other night for the game opener of the, of the season and uh, it was my birthday and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go see Vanderbilt play some basketball. So uh, first shot I'll give you is I'll show you uh, I'll show you the angle from our seats as to what our view was like. And that was a great game, man. Uh, had a had a real good ending there. I think the the score was 83 to 65, something like that. But uh, what was pretty cool was Scottie Pippen's son is playing on Vanderbilt this year. And uh, when me and my buddy Matt was on the way out of the uh, basketball game, when we were walking out, we got right beside Scottie Pippen. I literally could have reached over and doink, just popped him right on the shoulder. That dude, I'm 6'1", and he was, he made me look tiny. So I, I don't know, maybe he's seven foot eight or seven foot 10, I have no idea, but man, that dude is very tall. But what was really funny was he took, um, he took some paper that he had in his pocket, like um, gum wrappers and that kind of thing, and he walked right by a garbage can. The garbage can was three foot big around, one of those big 50 gallon garbage cans. And it's only five feet away from him. And he took his, his litter and he threw it at the garbage can and missed. <laughs> three foot big around. This is an NBA player and it's only five feet away from him and he missed. <laughs> I really wanted to say something, but I didn't know the guy. I don't know if he has a sense of humor or not, so I didn't bother him. But anyway, I want to show you a, a clip that I got of uh, Muppy and the and the cat Kiki girl out in the yard. They are playing with a chipmunk. Y'all check this out. My cat just brought up a chipmunk. I can see that your chipmunk is coming back to life just like squirrels do when you knock them out. Of course, the dog and the cat, neither one are probably expecting this to happen. So I'm hoping to have a good little show here. There's the chipmunk. Let's see what happens. Yep, you can see it coming back. Look there. For whatever reason, the cat loves to catch stuff and bring it to the dog. Isn't that funny? She does it all the time. She'll bring mice and uh, moles and, of course, squirrels and chipmunks. Anything she can catch, she will bring and give it to the dog and let the dog play with it. The cat has a very motherly, uh, motherly style to her. Of course, the dog doesn't know what to do with these things. <laughs> you hear that? Ferocious, isn't it? Look at that. You ever seen a dog play with a half dead chipmunk? The chipmunks are cute, and I don't want to have them killed. I can't do anything once I find that the cat's already brought them up half dead. But also, these things are bad about eating wires. I, I have a, uh, a utility trailer, and a chipmunk ate up the wiring of the trailer. And I'm glad that I found it when I did, because if I wouldn't have, I would have gotten bad, bad shape going down the road without any uh, brake lights or, or uh, blinkers. 
All right, geeky girl, let's see if this thing can come back to life. Also, uh, I have uh, a garden in which I grow a lot of different types of lettuce. And for whatever reason, these things love to tear up my lettuce plants. So they are uh, keeping me from getting to eat fresh food. I got a feeling this thing's going to completely come back to survive if I can put the cat back in the house. What is that, monkey? What is that? That thing gonna bite that cat right on the butt. <laughs> All right, Kiki, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> you want to play with it, huh? Did you enjoy that? Boy, it's hard to keep her in focus. <laughs> Did you want to play with it some more, Muppy? <laughs> Man, I love watching them two play together. It is too funny. Uh, anyway, I, I got into my garage a couple of days ago and I thought, man, I'm going to get this old uh, car out and maybe uh, maybe get it started up. I hadn't started this particular car up in about five years. Uh, I don't know that I've shown it to you much before in the past, but anyway, it's a 64 Oldsmobile 442. And uh, anyway, I, I, I went to get in the car and uh, as I did, uh, well, let me show you what I found. Well, I think I'll take the Oldsmobile for a ride. You want to go with me? Man, get on in here, man. This will be fun. Hey, wait a minute. What is that? Good grief. Look at that. Big old snake skin. Man, that thing must be five, six foot long. Well, shoot, I didn't have a battery in here anyway. Guess I need to get out here and put a battery in this thing so we can get it started up. Let's see if we got... Oh... Man, look at there. There's another darn snake skin. Good grief, how many has this car got? Well, I don't look like I'm gonna be driving that car anytime soon. <laughs> but um, I'm also doing some work up at my uh, property. You know, I've got a couple of buildings. Uh, one of them I've, I'm renting out to a business. Uh, the other building I have uh, I have thought about doing some changes to it. So, uh, man, let me show you what I've got in mind for that. Well, here's the door as I just came in. And uh, you can see it's all panel walls. And the church that was uh, using this before put a lot of tape on the walls. And when they would rip it off, of course, it uh, kind of tore up the paneling. This is cheap paneling. So, uh, Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the uh, the paneling here and uh, get it get it looking a lot better than it does. I'm uh, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a uh, Airbnb out of this small building, and you can see there's some uh, partition uh, board panels in here. So I've got to get those uh, get those taken down and moved. Behind the partition here, there is really nothing going on. So uh, <clears throat> the uh, church, when they used this, this was an office back here, and uh, they used the front section up there for a um, Sunday school class. So what I've got to do is I got to get these partition panels taken down, and uh, there is a door over here uh, that goes to the outside, and uh, as you can see, it's covered up by these partitions. But uh, anyway, I have got to build a bathroom. So what I will do is in this back corner here, I will build a, uh, a bathroom. 
And along this same wall here, I will have a uh, kitchenette. And uh, coming out from the kitchenette, you will walk into uh, just a main main room that will have a bed and uh, you know some of your basic items that you would find in an Airbnb. I don't know if I'm going to have a couch in here. You know, I've got I've got some spare items, being uh, the bed and and a few other things that I I can put in here. So uh, I do not have a couch. That's the only uh, thing that I do not have. Now, uh, one thing I've got to do. There's pl plenty of stuff I've got to do to this thing, but you can see where some moisture has gotten in here beside the uh, air conditioner. And I don't know if that's from the air conditioner not being able to, uh, uh, you know, they collect moisture down here in the bottom in a pan. I don't know if that pan did not allow the moisture to come out or if this is from rain. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of investigation to see what's going on there. And, um, Anyway, so that's what cools this entire building is that air conditioner and this is what heats the entire building. So uh, somebody stole my propane tank. So yeah, there's a lot of low lifes out there. But uh, anyway, somebody stole my propane. And uh, so today what I'm using is this little heater here, this little space heater to get me going. But uh, anyway, I bought, bought me some uh, stain I'm sorry, primer and paint. So uh, that's what I'm gonna try to do today. And also some of the ceiling has started to drop down. This is just um, some insulation type stuff that you can buy a little foam board. It's very thin and I have insulation above that. So what I've got to do is I have got to get that uh, tacked back up there and uh, get it to where it's not falling down. And you can see there's a couple of places here throughout the building that has the the ceiling coming down. So uh, anyway, I'm going to go for a rustic vibe. And uh, man, this may take me a few weeks to get this thing completed. But uh, I thought, man, that'd be something fun to take you along for the ride and show you what I end up doing to it. Well, folks, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. Uh, hey, if you would, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you thought about me uh, putting these several clips together. And uh, usually I try to, I usually try to just have one subject matter and stick with it. But uh, like I said, I had several little clips that something funny would happen and I'd take a video clip and I thought, well, I'll just share those with y'all. So y'all let me know what you thought about it down below. And uh, I did get stranded over in Ukraine for two extra days. So if y'all are interested in that, I will show you the footage of that as well. Y'all let me know down in the description or uh, down in the comments, rather. Y'all let me know if y'all like to see that. And uh, if I get enough uh, people requesting it, I will show you me getting stranded for two days down there. <laughs> so, uh, hey, I appreciate y'all spending some time with me. I hope to see y'all real soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.